Hello everyone and welcome to the Little Blue Fly. In today's video I would like to take you all along as I create my English Cottage Pathway. Now for right now we're going to go ahead and ignore the grass. That is actually being tended to by a company. What we have had to do here is remove all of the creeping charlie and the different types of weeds so we're really the yard is really going through a phase right now but next year it will be much more pleasant to look at and definitely enjoy so we will be planting oh gosh 19 different box boxwoods today many fall flowers for the season um, I will be doing pathway decorating and porch decorating as well in this video. If you enjoy it, before you leave, please think about leaving us a thumbs up because it greatly helps the little blue fly get out there in the algorithm. And we are doing great. Thank you so much. So that being said, let's begin, shall we? Okay, just really quick, I want to touch on this device right here. This is called an auger. It has quite a large um, drill bit on this piece. It will actually be linked in my Amazon storefront. And in the future, you will be seeing this piece um, actually being used over and over and over again. This helped us dig 19 holes within 30 minutes. Okay, so a little bit fast forward, you can see here how we have planted um, two separate beds over here and have placed in the 19, but well, actually, let me see, there was 18 here, yes, nine on each side. And we went ahead and we love to use, um, I know there's a proper name for it, but it's like a black, like a border um, that we like to place up because it just helps, you know, when it comes time just to keep the edge up really clean with the grass. I'm going to pull things back here. So as you can see, we have boxwoods on the left and on the right. And now, um, because it is going to take some time for these to grow in, you know, a good three years easy. Boxwoods are very slow growers, but worth the wait. And in the meantime, I will be placing in pansies. So you can see here, uh, gosh, if only the work was as fast as this, this I mean, this video was what, like not even 12 minutes, but it took two days to do this. Two very long, hard days. But anyhow, we have pansies on the left and right side of our boxwoods. And what's nice, we're in zone 7A. So what is nice, of course, they die back during the winter, but in the spring, they will just come back up all happy and vibrant all over again. And I just really fell in love with these yellow pansies. Absolutely gorgeous. I have some mums over here to the side that we will be decorating with as well. And then on the inside, I thought to go a warmer color, use the red with touches of the yellow pansies. Over 145 cells. This is quite a bit of planting here, especially when you're working in the hard red clay. So just look how sweet these are. I love them. And then there's touches of yellow in the red. I just, I was not realizing the work I had in store. I just, did not. And then we have many different pumpkins. And 
and here the planters up on the porch I have different mums in there as well we'll go over that here in a moment but the walkway is now nice and clean with the boxwoods and the pansies I had two leftover boxwoods so I placed one here in this rectangular planter and placed in um, different varieties of mums and my creeping Jenny is still doing very good and I have in my votive cups many of you ask where I purchased these and I was in North Carolina um, from a shop there they had them for sale the entryway mat is from Mackenzie Childs that was picked up from her barn sale last year and I just repeated the same thing over on the other planter and then I have my variegated um, three-tier topiary uh, my ivy in a terracotta pot as well now we have all sorts of fun pumpkins to work with time to bring in the pops of color so i have used this basket before um i just decided it could have used a a refresh with some paint but i just decided to keep it just keep it as it is this year And inside I placed in now when I pick out mums I like to make sure that many of them are still closed even though we want to buy the ones where it's just vibrant with all the beautiful colors they just you don't get good life out of those so you try to get the ones that have the bulbs all over the little buds And the goodness is sure to come and then up at the top on my porch I placed in my tur one of my turkeys I have two of them and these were purchased a few years ago from um, uh, decorstills.com now I just placed my pumpkins all about the different pops of orange and yellow and the greens and I love that gourd up to the right the crook neck it just it's just the perfect color and shape and size and then I added in some more mums to the left you can see the copper pot and then I placed another in up at the top 